Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, hi, I'm Annie. If you're not new, hi, I'm glad you're here. Um, today I'm going to show you how to do this really cute, simple hairstyle that you could wear one of two ways. Um, my hair is really dirty and I just needed it out of my face today, but I felt like doing something a little bit cute besides just a ponytail. So if you like hair videos, hair tips, hair tutorials, all that kind of stuff, um, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment if you have any hair video suggestions that you want me to do, but also subscribe so you never miss a video. Like I said, if you like hair content. So let's get into how to do this fun, sassy braided ponytail. So to do this hairstyle, my hair is like five days old, okay? It's not like super greasy, but it just can't be down, okay? Um, I'm going to link my how to curl and make it last video because I curled my hair on Sunday and it is Thursday. These curls are still going, okay? So for this hairstyle, if you need dry shampoo, you can put that in. I am going to opt for a texturizing spray. This is the OGX one. You can just get it at any drugstore. And all I do is just spray it into my hair, not at the roots, in the hair. If you have like freshly washed hair or your hair <coughs> isn't as dirty, um, this will help it give it a little grit and dirt um, so that when you braid, it can be a little bit bigger. I'm also going to leave my blog post that I did on how to get bigger, better braids. Um, and that's one of my tips. Okay, so what you're gonna need is a clear hair elastic, depending on what version you're gonna do. I'm gonna do like two versions. And then some bobby pins. My favorite bobby pins are these curved ones um from i think probably connor i'll leave a link down below so you want your hair to be split down the middle and you can either braid your bangs into it or you can leave little pieces out i'm going to the gym today so i'm going to braid them into my hair okay so what you're going to do is you're going to just dutch french braid and then we're going to uh you'll see it but get ready to dutch french braid okay dutch braiding is different than a regular braid because instead of your hair going over and braiding you're going to be going under so that it lifts off of your head i'm not good at really explaining this but i'll try okay when you're learning how to french braid don't watch somebody listen to their words and try it on yourself it's also hard to do it in the mirror um, cause everything's obviously reversed. So if you need to, you can close your eyes and practice. So the tip is only grab from here up and down and then eventually we'll grab, but I'll get to there. Remember, we're just going straight down and I'm just French braiding right now to my ear. Okay, I don't have any more hair so I can't grab here. Now you're just going to braid and only add pieces in the back, but grab a piece up here. You don't technically have to do this part, but I like to, okay? And start braiding back. Don't look at my eyes too when I'm doing this because it's not, okay? So grab, go down. Okay, now you're going to fluff or pancake your braid, grab the outside of the strands and just start and then if you have like shorter layers or bangs like I do, some pieces might stick out funny, but we can fix those. Okay, so just pull until your desired thickness and I'm just gonna clip it. Now do the other side. Okay. 
So now that we have our two braids, unclip it and get your bobby pins ready. Well, actually, we'll just start with one, okay? So what you're going to do is lay it around your head to the other side so that it's here, okay? Now you're going to bobby pin into the braid right here from the bottom and the top, okay? So I'm gonna try to get close so you can see how I actually use a bobby pin to make it stay. And also so they don't get like thick or like stretched out, okay? Right here, tiny bit. Shove it into the braid. Could you see that? I don't know, I'll try it from the top, okay? A tiny piece into the braid, okay? And that will help it so that it's not so obvious that you have bobby pins in. Obviously, people know you have bobby pins in, but now, other side. This one, you want to make sure, oh, let's do it flat. You cover the other one, but also go under it. So here, you're gonna cover, but then you're gonna kind of put it under the other braid, okay? Here we go. Taking right here, shoving it out. And I kind of had to wiggle it because the tips were coming out. Okay, now the other side. So what I did is I pinned it under the other braid and then you can just pull them. Okay. So now you have these little extended pieces, but you could just leave it like this. Um, you know, pull it out, fix it. If you need a bobby pin that, bobby pin that. But what I also like to do is put it into a little ponytail situation. So I'm only gonna use one, but I would recommend doubling up to hold it, but I'm not going to wear this all day, um, just to show you, okay? And once I'm done, I'll fix these, okay? So grab it into a ponytail. Make sure that you actually do grab those little wings. Take your elastic. Okay, there you go. But now we have to make it look a little bit better. So grab the ends or the bottom and push. And you wanna push it underneath the braided part, okay? And so now the ponytail holder is, it should be concealed. I don't have a handheld mirror because mine broke, but that way it gives it more fluffy and you don't have to wrap it around. If you wanted to, you could put a hair accessory or whatever. Um, but let's kind of fix the front. So if you have those shorter layers, what you can do is to make sure that like it doesn't come undone, you're going to take your bobby pin and you're going to pin it with the braid. So I'm gonna actually lift up that piece and shove it into it. So this part is secure, okay? I don't really care if that little piece is out. If that really bothers you, just keep kind of pulling it. I would not recommend 
bobby pinning that though. If you wanted to, you could do hairspray or something to kind of smooth it down a little bit, but it's supposed to be loose, okay? So there you go. You have to tell me, I don't know what back, back looks like. Does it look okay? So like I said, you could just wear it down. If you wanted to do it a little bit thinner, you don't have to do it as thick and so that you have more hair when it's down. If you are, if your hair is more on the thinner side. Um, but I think that this is super cute. Braids are always a great go-to when your hair is dirty because if you read in my how to get your braids bigger, better, thicker, um, dirty hair is just way better. Um, so I hope that you liked this video. If this was helpful or if you want any more hair videos, I don't usually do hair videos on here. It's more of like tips and tricks. But if you like this, let me know. I hope that you liked it and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.